I've been wanting to talk about this manga series for a while now, but haven't really known what to say. But I think I might have finally figured out what it is I want to say about Akane Banashi. First of all, the series surprised me. I honestly had no clue how good this manga was going to be, but my god is it amazing. I already knew I liked the subject matter of the series as I had watched an anime about Rakugo a while ago that was really amazing, but even then, this series surprised me because of how different it was. There are things that happen in this series that I didn't think were even a thing that could happen in Rakugo. Which is super cool and makes the series really fun to read because now it makes the Rakugo scenes way more exciting. Plus, there are also a lot of stakes at play that make these scenes way more impactful as well. There's a lot that this series does right, so I really hope to god this series can last a long time and not get cancelled for some BS. But I think it's fine. It's selling pretty well for a series like this. Anyway, I think there are so many things that this series does right just from the technical standpoint. Like the character writing, which I'll go more in depth in later in this video. But I want to say that the characters are incredible and really compelling. But that's not all, the story is also really good so far. They have somehow found a way to mix a lot of elements together that I never thought would work together and it makes for a really amazing story that is being told. They have added a battle shonen like element to Rakugo which I find to be super interesting as Rakugo you would usually think of people just going strictly to enjoy but in this case it is used for a competition which I find to be really awesome and an amazing element to the story. Anyway, Akane Banashi is really good and I will be reading this series all the way to the end because I love it. And I would love it if people would read and enjoy this series as well because I want as many people as possible experiencing the series as I can because I think this series is just that good. Anyway, we can continue this talk later. I want to jump into the regular review. But before that, it would be awesome if you guys could leave a like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I make new anime and manga content every single week on a variety of series. As I briefly explained earlier, the character writing in this series is incredible. The interactions between all of the characters are awesome. I also love the personalities of all of the characters. The characters all have unique personalities that coincide with the type of Rakugo they like to perform, which is a really cool way to tie in Rakugo to the characters. Their personalities can also conflict with each other a lot, but even with that, some of the characters are still close, which I find to be really awesome. The main character's motivation for everything they do throughout the series is awesome. It makes sense why she is so obsessed with Rakugo. She grew up watching her father perform Rakugo, and she loved watching her father perform, so of course she would want to do it. That only became more of a spark for her after the one event that happens in the first chapter that prevents her father from performing Rakugo. She wants to get better and prove that her father's Rakugo is awesome, but she is also developing her own form of Rakugo which is also awesome. Honestly, it's pretty hard to consistently write characters to be this good, but Akane Banashi really succeeds at it. Even some of the side characters that were just introduced in like the past 5 chapters or so have been really interesting opponents for Akane to go up against. They each perform really unique forms of Rakugo that can get the audience's attention. Plus, they all have their own separate backstories for why they want to perform. These past few chapters have gotten me interested in the side characters that are going to be her rivals throughout the series, as they each seem to have their own stories to tell. I also want to learn more about the mentor character. They have all taught Akane something really important for her own form of Rakugo. They also want to see her succeed, as they used to be very close to her father and want her to do well. And as with the rival characters, all of them have some more intriguing reason as to why they want to perform Rakugo and why they love it so much. All of those reasons really help to make the characters awesome and makes me excited to learn more about them in the future chapters of the series. The characters are for sure the best part of this series and honestly, I highly recommend this series strictly on the back of its characters because they are that incredible. I love the art in this manga, it's so good, it fits really well with the story being told. The character designs are awesome and it works really well with the story. The paneling in this manga is also amazing, it's so easy to follow the story of the manga as the flow of the paneling makes it so easy. The panels are also really good, everything just comes together nicely to really help and make it all nice. The locations we've seen so far in this series have also been really cool. There are so many different and unique places where they get to perform Rakugo at which makes it really cool to see. The mangaka does a phenomenal job of portraying these places we visit and the people of the audience of the shows. The people's reactions to the shows are very familiar to that of my own which I think is really awesome and makes it feel like the mangaka knew exactly how we would feel about these stories and the things which is awesome. Akane Banashi is a manga that surprised me with how good it was. I had no idea what to expect going into the series when I initially started reading it. But after getting fully caught up on this series, I can definitely say that this series is amazing and personally is one of my favorite shonen manga right now. This series tells a story that may not be something about most of us westerners would know much about, however it does so in a way that still keeps me compelled to keep on reading as the story is not only about Rakugo. It's about achieving your dreams, fighting for what you believe in, and pursuing passion no matter who might be against it. And that is a story that I can get behind and follow. 
That's why I highly recommend the series to those who have not given it a chance yet because you won't be disappointed, that I can say for sure. 